Boxing Day. Hey, Thomas. Did you see the game last night? Morning, Frank. Uh, nope. We had our Christmas dinner. What happened? The Celtics were up by 25 in the third quarter, but they still Aww, lost the game. Dang. Double overtime. Double overtime. Holy. Mm, so was it a big payday for you? <laughs> One of the biggest of the year. And now the odds are dropping for Boston. I'm going to bet on them to win it all this season. Nice. Nice move. Good luck, Frank. Thanks, Thomas. Have a good one today. Oh, so many packages and, and letters today. Season's greeting, Theo. It's the second day of Christmas, and I don't have to. It's the second day of Christmas, and I do love you. know what I do have? Theo, positive or pet peeve? Main Street. Oh, you get that radio off. That copyright music out of here. Oh, I see two people in here. Yes, I understand, but Marine okay. Said, Doesn't really matter what Marine said. I can't help that her orders have been delayed because of the snow. She should have just ordered sooner. It's not like New Year's Eve appeared on the calendar out of nowhere. That's true, but it was only two weeks ago that she decided to throw a celebration at the diner. And once we're sure we can host a proper party for everyone, you are also invited. <sighs> that sounds an awful lot like blackmail to me. <laughs> Please come to my party, Nancy. But first, hand over a football team supply of cheesy dip, Ooh, quiche, yum, and sloppy jokes. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she didn't mean it that way, and Maybe I'm sure you're more than welcome other either way, but I have to some run sweets. now. Bye, Nancy. I'll go for some sweets bye right bye, now. Bye, Thomas. Bye, Kay. Chocolate chip cookies. <sighs> Brownies. Again. Chips. Guac. Theo would be a boring place without her. Boring? Drama-free might be the word you're looking for. Wow. One thing's for sure, she does not know how to run a business. Always bites off more than she can chew. And now I'm supposed to come to the rescue? Isn't this a great opportunity to generate some extra revenue? With the ridiculous discount she's demanding, it's most What is this camera angle? Great opportunity for a lot of extra work. Anyway, is that parcel for me? I think it's supposed to be showing her face, but it's not. All right, since you asked so nicely. See you, Nancy. Have a good day. Beep, boop, 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 boop. This way. Skirt. Letters. Time to deliver the letters. On the day after Christmas, the day after Christmas, wrong house. Sideways mailbox. We got a package coming up. Up on Second Street. Right here. Ooh, look at that snowman. That's so cute. Almost forgot my package. Oh, it's Jack. It turned to Jackson Street. Is this a hat? Oh. Part and parcel. <laughs> Something like that. The Kovacs family always heads to Arizona in the winter time, and who can blame them? Hopefully, that's not sitting out there too long. But it is undercover, so hopefully it'll be okay then. 
Till the summer? That's a long time. We really should be keeping these in the post office, shouldn't we? You know? No? I feel like that should be the, the way to go. Handwriting on this one. Well. You know, if they didn't click that box, you know? Well, I guess this is before online. If they didn't come tell us, you know, hey, can you hold on to our... our packages and our mail until we get back and we'll come collect it and let you know, then... We only have so much duty of care, you know? Only so much we gotta do. Where is that? Probably could have just gone around, but you know. More letters. Somehow it's always nice when our neighbors get a letter. Here's to you, Andy and Toby. Nice. Any letters that we get, we don't really have to put in the mailbox. Our mailbox is kind of just for show at this point, because I just get to take it home at the end of my shift. Another satisfied customer, unless it's Bill's. Oh, I just realized he takes his- he puts his glasses on and takes them off to like double check he's delivering it to the right house, I guess. That's such a small detail, but that's- that's such a nice detail. Ooh, look at that! Look at that house and the tree! Good job. Good decorating, guys! You know, real- even in real life, you know? I don't have a lot of Christmas decor, but I use what I have. Alright, we gotta take a ride up here. I think this is at the lumber mill, right? Something like that. Or close to? Okay, Thomas. Just keep the wheel steady. Trust the snow chains on the tires. Ooh, skinny bridge. Yeah, here it is. Look at that crispy water. Niagara Falls all those many years ago. Niagara Falls honeymoon nice. Bear Creek. A belated Christmas gift? Maybe. Hey there. Looks like Santa's Hello, a little Robert. Late this year. <laughs> That's what you get for not being a good boy, Robert Harris. <laughs> Let me try to make it up to you. Take that heavy load off your hands. Uh, that must be the fire pit I ordered. Oh. Uh, now I can finally go ice fishing without freezing at the same time. I don't get how that works. If like there's fire on the water, I guess it's it's designed in such a specific way that it doesn't melt anything, right? And here I thought there'd be no more fishing until spring. Don't knock it till you've tried it, Thomas. Bert's out of town, so I could use someone else to talk to. Not that Bert talks that much. <laughs> uh, how about it? Tomorrow evening. Sure. Sure. Let's do it. You better make sure. Not in a million years. Working. Oh my gosh, this guy can be so savage. I'll bring all the gear, but feel free to bring some booze. Hey, did you have a nice Christmas, by the way? Drink some of that whiskey if I have any left. Yeah, sure. A nice day off, great food. Hard to complain about that. Can't agree more. Anyways, I won't hold you up any longer. I I need to assemble this baby. See you tomorrow, Thomas. I'll come pick you up. Into the woods. 
into the woods, into the woods. Must be so cozy in the time. If they're warm enough. Probably yeah. That's what I was saying before. I hope they have good heating. Oh, wrong way. Just a letter. Where's your mailbox? Oh, all the way over here. Dang, that would suck. Have to get your mail every day. There we go. Even once a week. Oof. In this weather? I mean, I got layers, but you. Damn. Double check. All right, we're all good to get back on the main road. Whoa. Okay, now I'm beating up my van. Hotel, motel. Is this where we see the guy working for the first time? Or is Emily still here? Whoa, looks like Use. you're having some car trouble. Car? Yeah, uh, just a second, my good man. Gabriel, can you figure out what's wrong with this blasted vehicle? Give me some good news here. Hey, we have I a mechanic. Mean, I'm not really a car mechanic, Mr. Price. But... I know the smoke isn't a good sign. <laughs> no duh, Einstein. Say, hey, Mr. Mailman, what's your story? My... story? Just here to deliver a package, sir. Oh, is it for me? And by any chance, would there be a fully functional car in that package? <laughs> nope. No, sorry. Unfortunately not. Well, then what do I care? What's taking Ilsa so damn long? Gabe, if you don't know what you're doing, then why on God's green earth are you fiddling around with that engine? Because you probably Just told him to. Just up in the hood, Mr. Price. What with the smoke and all? It needs to vent. Needs to vent, huh? Huh. Never have I felt more like a busted car engine. Gone. I'm done mm. in this podunk country ass town. Bunch of freaking yokels. Well, um, I'm standing right here. So, hey there. I see you have had the privilege of the full Connor Price experience. Apparently. <laughs> I guess that car engine isn't the only thing that needs to blow off steam. <laughs> yeah, Connor can be a bit much. Anyway, I'm Ilsa Richter, local TV segment producer turned car problem solver. And that sporting young man over there is Gabriel Serrano, local TV sound guy turned amateur mechanic. <laughs> Emphasis on amateur. Yeah. Hey, I never claimed to know anything about cars. Just because I used to be a studio tech, Mr. Price put me on engine duty. Anyway, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. I'm Thomas Weiss. Local mail carrier turned local TV reporter's punching bag? <laughs> well, what I came to tell that local TV reporter turned mailbag puncher, I called a garage a couple miles down the road. They're on their way right now. That's great, Ilsa. You're an even better car problem solver than you are a Maybe they can producer. tow it. Flattery will get Hopefully. you everywhere, Gabe. And hey, there's a motel <sighs> if they need somewhere to young. stay. You're in capable hands. He'll have you fixed up in no time. God, I hope so. We need to get to Melville, and we're already way behind schedule. Hey, Mr. Mailman. Uh, come in here for a second, please. Uh, excuse me. Duty apparently calls. Uh, happy travels. Uh, so, we meet again. So, um, we meet again. Hey, ba -ba -ba. I'm new here. All of a sudden, I have to check in three people at once who want their own rooms. 
separate but close to one another, all equipped with TV VCRs. And, well, long story short, I need to reach Emily Weiss, stat. I'm guessing the local post guy would know where to reach her. Sure, her home number is 555 go take a hike <laughs> I happen to know her home number by heart. And it's 555-8039. Thank you. 555-8039. Come on, pick up already. I'll just Why are you so impatient? Oh my. Bye. <laughs> They're already gone. Mighty fast towing there, Ben. Super fast. All right. Back to the posty office. crash evening hey if it isn't connor price oh that's him huh he's taller than he looks on tv is he on the phone let's hope he's in a better mood now he was really quite rude to me earlier wow sounds like a real jerk mr price Aren't you supposed to be in Melville? Well, hey there. Smoking. Good to see you, man. Miss the hand pose. Yeah, change of plans, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, hi, ma'am. I don't think we've met. Uh, Connor Price, KNW6. <laughs> Welcome to the Oregon Trail Motel, sir. Better get to work, honey. I'll see you tonight. Okay, what's up with her? Christmas hangover? You'll have to forgive my wife. She can be a bit protective of me. A protective of you? Oh, I see. You told yeah. her about her kerfuffle earlier. Maybe. Listen, I'm man enough to admit that it wasn't my finest hour. I'm usually a lot more easygoing. In Are fact, you? The Willamette Week once called me one of the most likable faces in local broadcasting. Yeah, that's quite all right. Yeah, that's fine. Water under the Bear Creek Bridge, as far as I'm concerned. Uh-huh. Well, when my car isn't breaking down during a tight shooting schedule, I'm a pretty swell guy. Believe me, that's the price guarantee. <laughs> so, has Ben Young managed to fix your van yet? Ha, no, that's the change of plans I was referring to. Oh. It turns out we need some parts that the garage doesn't have in stock, so Young's having them shipped over ASAP. But in the meantime, we've decided to see Yeah, it right might here still take a little while. What you call it, USA? I thought you didn't want to be it's here. Oaks, <laughs> you made it pretty loud yeah, and clear well, this morning. Honest, all these little villages look pretty much the same to me anyway. See, we're supposed to be shooting some remotes on local end of year festivities and such. A grand kickoff to our special series on small town American life. And it yeah, why not do it here? Difference if we start here or in freaking Melville. Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. A great little place too. This town has warmth. I like warmth. And you so like the city. So you are very clear about that. Featured in part one of the Oregon Trail. Um, title pending. Might be a little too on the nose. That is the same name as this motel. So I guess it isn't particularly original. My wife works here as a receptionist, but she's not the one who named it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Real conversations with real Americans, right? But as sure. far as this is, I should be turning in. The three of us each got our own quaint little room. Mine's non-smoking, unfortunately. Still beats Gabriel's. His doesn't even have a TV. Can you believe it? I think I can. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. Anyway, great banter. See you around, my main mailman. We'll grab a book from the library before it closes. Don't you have a mobile phone?
Even if it's a basic one, just call somebody for entertainment. I don't Attention, know. everybody! There's a suspect situation. Hang out with, with your colleagues. Sounds there like you go. Job for fries and the hamburger. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, real funny, guys. Okay, Klaus, let's go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> 